Little Dolly friends, and welcome to part two of Headless Harriet. I am so incredibly sorry at how long it's taken me to get this video out. Um, I have so many excuses. Um, <laughs> the, the biggest two is um, school did start back up, so I'm back to working full time. The other, ex the other big excuse is, um, for those of you who don't know, we have had a horrible heat wave in the Midwest, and since my workshop is now in the garage, um, I just, I've been, I'm so pregnant, and it's been so hot, like, I just have not been able to go work in the garage, like, it's just been too, too hot, so... I apologize from the bottom of my heart for how long it's taken, um, but hopefully you'll forgive me. Um, you see that I did cut the, the neck off successfully. Um, that's where part one left off. And basically what I did with the porcelain head was it had this weird little like extra um, ledge to it, and it was just too long, so I used a hammer, <laughs> which is <laughs> kind of crazy to, like, break that piece off, but then, of course, in the process, um, I did damage the front of the neck, so I used, um, modeling clay to repair and strengthen the porcelain neck, um, so that's what I was showing you a little bit ago was, um, that, uh, repair job and it's totally dry now so now that that is done I am on to um, filling in all the crazing and the little pits on the composition um, so that's what I'm doing now I'm basically just cleaning and rubbing in some wood filler and getting her the body um, the composition body nice and clean Like I said in part one, um, her composition is really not that bad at all, like very minimal paint peeling, um, just a little bit of crazing here and there. So um, I really didn't have to do a whole lot, just um, filled in some of those tiny hairline cracks and did some light sanding to get her ready for a repaint. Um, not bad at all, really. The main thing wrong with her is just the fact that her head was missing. Putting a porcelain head on a compo body is definitely new territory for me. Um, how I went about it was I just Gorilla Glued the seam. Um, so Gorilla Glue uh, is an expanding glue. It's very, very strong. Um, so that was the first thing I did. And then the second thing I did was to try and blend the neck and the shoulders together with some more um, modeling clay and this is all just very new territory for me but uh, honestly it was fun it was really fun and uh, pleased with how it came out so uh, obviously I didn't do too shabby of a job Once the clay was completely dry, um, it was time to start sanding and trying to blend those seams together. This, this took quite a bit of time. Um, trying to make that porcelain 
blend in to the composition is not easy. Um, so you just have to really, really sand that modeling clay down. Um, it took a while. I, I don't remember exactly how long, but it took a while.
headless no more. Isn't she beautiful? I'm honestly like super happy with how she's come out. Um, we dyed her dress this gorgeous blue color. Um, she has a new head. It's porcelain. She still has her compo body. Um, brand new mohair wig by Monique and I just think she is precious. I'm honestly super torn on whether or not I should keep her or sell her. I'm not sure because I, I think she's really beautiful and she would display really nicely. Not that I need any more dolls, but um, here's a good look at that wig up close. Um, mohair is really pretty when it's brand new. It's got a shininess to it. I stole her little socks and booties from a porcelain doll um, and her petticoat and undies are original and uh, of course the dress we dyed in part one. So what do you guys think? Do you think she looks good? Um, I'm honestly super happy. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journey and um, may all your dolly dreams come true. See you later guys.